Hey gentlemen, um, just a really quick uh, preview of uh, the tutorial itself. Uh, I created a, the digital asset as a pebble on Houdini and it's a procedural uh, uh, little pebble. Uh, it's a stylized pebble, so you're actually able to use on, on stylized game if you wanted to. Uh, have a bunch of little range of attributes that I'm able to create, so like skill on the Y, skill on the X, and stuff like that. And all the cuts themselves, they they uh, correspond to uh, procedurally creating the cuts and, and other things. So if I want to change the sides of the, 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 the pebble itself, so like right now, I'm actually able to as well do the, the seedness of how much I want this randomization to go and you can see that the wireframe it's pretty clean and it's fine uh, for being a pebble that you're gonna bake it down and as you can see it's very stylized looking and um, I'm able to taper it down taper the uh, twist it if I want to I'm able to change their colors if I want to I'm able to change the size of the jitterness if I want to uh, the cuts uh, seed or how how the cuts actually go through the, the, the pebble if I want the cuts to go more in or out uh, it's up to you to play around with this and and find out what you want to do um, also for previewing I ended up it, it creating a, a toggle where you can see a little smaller thing uh, pebble uh, just so it doesn't get that heavy uh, looking and uh, later on, I'm going to create as well a low poly uh, uh, version where if you wanted to, you are able to bake that down. Uh, this is all going to be on the tutorial that I'm creating. Uh, so this is just a preview for you guys to see what you're actually able to do with Houdini uh, uh, procedurally um, without much of a, 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 a hassle and you're able to reuse that asset as much as you want to as well. So uh, look forward to the tutorial and I hope you like it. Thank you.